Hey, this is a miss of Tuna Scythe 15 run. We're gonna start this up here by doing a small AV pull. This is with the pug, and it's on a spiteful. Give me a sec here. It's a spiteful four to five volcanic week. Season one, so this is uh pride pull as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just had to rush back and start this recording because this guy, this group didn't feel like doing a ready check. I'm not sure why that was the case, but I don't have my food buff. Uh, it's not the end of the world here, but... I'm gonna go ahead and pop our CDs, kill everything very quickly. down our binding trap right away just so that these guys are cc thing death the cast of the villager and so far so good so i just joined a miss right before this run and the tank dc right after the second pull so at least we didn't uh do the whole dungeon or anything like that but you know it's still kind of a pain in the ass for that to happen i'm gonna go ahead and use our aoe obviously so this is a pug everybody's got around 1.1k 1.2k io i'm sitting at about 800 right now 800. A thousand and fifty. I don't know why I said eight hundred. Let's knock these guys, cancel some casts. See that these guys start dying. Let's drop a finding shot. So that we can handle these mobs right away. Hunter's control is uh, very, very useful in these runs. And by these runs, I mean these affixes. Go ahead and grab a savory mushroom, giving us 10% sets. I don't have a target. I'm gonna drop a trap, these guys should die by the time they get to us. <laughs> we should really be killing only one of these at this. Um, we wanna be focusing one of these because at 50% HP, they're gonna start doing some crazy AoE damage. Some good single target damage here. There it is. Gonna use my measly little defensive that I have as a hunter. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So you cannot get another one of those. Healer seems to be doing some uh, some good healing, so I'm not too worried. We got our shade. I'm gonna go ahead and root this. Make sure we're not sanding in anything. Now this boss should melt because uh, we're going to get a prideful after this and we're going to lust. And it's a tyrannical, or not a tyrannical week, I should say. It's great when people have the weak aura that announces the prideful above their head. As you can see, I have it. Three, two, one, and fire. I guess his weak aura makes him say excuse me when he fires it off. It's kind of funny. So we're not going to pop any CDs to kill this prideful. Healer seems to be good. Going to save my heal as well for the boss fight. Pretty good. Misdirecting. Let me go ahead and cleave a little bit here. Oops. We're going to get hit by a... Uh, Mechanical accident. You will do my Just gonna get the next kick on the boss here. Mouse over him and kick. 
Simple as that. Then as soon as Droman's about to die, like right now, I'm gonna pop my CDs right after this fear. I guess you can't really bang it. Let me go ahead and start popping everything here. Hopefully everybody pops everything here and we push him before he revives the uh, Droman. I think we're good. So I'm never sure if the play here is to stay on him. Because he does take... I could have sworn he took 80% less damage. Weird. Guess that's not the case. Maybe after a certain threshold, he doesn't have that buff anymore. Oh well. It's better for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my food buff here. Yay! My friends are here to play. Come along. So he ran to the right. We'll remember that. <clears throat> but these two man pulls are kind of annoying as a hunter. We can't cleave unless there's three targets. This is going to be a low DPS pull, but next pull, I should have everything up in about 20 seconds here. And we're gonna do some good damage. making sure we're not standing in anything and dropping a binding shot to help with the shades and any other kind of NPCs that focus people or chase people I should say. So we've got an empty leaf here, an empty flower with a circle, that's a full one. Yeah, only one leaf. I didn't see the other one. Maybe there wasn't another one. Destruct our tank. Go ahead and start our AoE rotation. So when I'm able to move while casting, like right now, I'm just gonna head over. So we've got a flower. That was empty flower. This is a solid over here. Now, I didn't see what was at the entrance. But so far, there's only one solid. No, that's two. Um, was there just a leaf anywhere? That was the only leaf, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a leaf. So we're good to go through this door here. <laughs> you did it. Good guess. We have this single target mob. So we have a flower. Another flower. Got the breath here. Let's make sure not to get hit by that. So we got just the one leaf here. And he moves out of my arrows. That's my bad. I shouldn't have placed those arrows there. So far, pretty clean run. This is miss. Really not hard. As long as you have a decent group, don't like to get hit by stuff, you should be good to go. <laughs> oh, 
Man, you hit the tank pretty hard there. Looks like everybody's saving their CDs for the next ball. Make sure you're mindful that you're not hitting people with your prideful beams, or whatever you want to call them. I think we have two more AoE pulls on the boss, so if I use my AoE cooldowns on the next pull, we should be back up with the boss. I'm going to go ahead and pop a defensive here, and my heal. Cooldowns. Make sure we're not in any kind of volcanics. That's really annoying when that mob teleports behind me like that while I'm trying to do my rotation. Ooh, this guy is pulling everything. Wish I would have known. I'm gonna throw down a binding shot. I'm just dead. I think I'm gonna release here. No. Okay, good. I don't know why that... Oh my gosh. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. Uh, actually, you know what? This is under control. This isn't too bad, now that I look at it. Need to make sure we're keeping our cool. This is one of those pulls, like, it's completely doable. It's easy. Like, to do a double pull like that. It would have just been nice to have some heads up, but maybe these guys are on Discord or something, and, uh, yeah. Go ahead and slow the shade, make sure everybody's, uh, we're helping each other out here with some CCs. The one in the back is, uh, should be far enough away to not have to deal with it. We got flower, flower. It's too far away. Leaf, leaf. So was there only one empty? I didn't see. No fooling you. Yeah. Okay, boss time. We're gonna have so much fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and CC the uh, the fox when he comes out. The ice something. What's it called? Freeze type spawn. It always happens right after patty cake. Just making sure we're mindful of the dodgeballs while the other mechanics are happening. So I'm going to save my CDs for after this first guessing game. So right now we got one flower. Should be a free sag soon. Uh, yeah, it's frozen. That's good. Pop our CDs and start going to town on the boss. You freeze tag. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it. Kind of funny how we're freezing the freeze tag. Look at me, I'm the freezer now. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Terrible joke. All right, what are we looking at? Just a flower, and by flower I mean leaf. That was very lucky that I didn't get hit by that. And it looks like they're about to get hit by that. That's not good. Love the late turtle. Looks like it's a white. <laughs> well, that is very unfortunate to wipe on uh, <laughs> not tyrannical week. It is a 15. Whatever that means. You have to respect mechanics still, right? So we're still fine on 
time here. The last pulls are not too bad to do. Just a bunch of AoE pulls. We have a good AoE comp. <laughs> so they're saying it looks like the healer got patty cake. Which shouldn't happen. But you never know. We could just pop lust on her. It'll be up for last boss, right? So. We're gonna have so much fun. Good. CDs are almost up. Just pull a bit of resources here. There we go. Let's do some damage. Go up, get it. Nice. Um, we've got one solid. Ooh, I overshot that one. Patty kick, instant interrupt. Very nice. That's what we like to see. Free sag spawning. Hopefully I can get this one. I've got it. Oh. Look like somebody else hit it. Guess we were good there. So far, so good. Boss is about 50% HP. Just gonna keep my distance here. Actually, I think it's easier to stick closer now that I think about it. To dodge when you have to dodge dodgeball. It's gonna be the only leave. Tank just ate that one. Nice. I like this uh, quantum device we I got. It's showing me exactly what buff I'm gonna get. You see it at the right above my damage meter. I got about five more seconds on this crit buff. Ooh, man, that would hurt. Getting some Sin Seeker PTSDs. Or PTSD flashback. What do we have here? I can't see the other one. We only have, uh, yeah, one flower. So it's this part of. Oops. I did waste quite a bit of time. Hopefully we don't not make it because of that. Oh, this is actually a 16. I've been saying 15 this whole time. That's my bot. Right, so I've got my two minutes up for this pull, although I actually prefer using it on the next pull. That's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and slow these guys. So we want to have our volley up for the next pull and uh, all of our two minutes. Oops, zoned out for a second there. Got hit by the volley. Er, volcano, not volley. Ba ba ba. B words. Explosive shot is up, but again, we're gonna save it for the next pull. Perfect time. Oh, now we have to deal with the shades, actually. So they're bound. I think we just need to kite them slightly, and we should be fine. We just deal with this prideful and ignore the shades. Perfect. I'll move out of their way here. So other than that one mistake, I don't even know if it was a mistake. The healer got targeted by Patty Cake. Oh shit, that was close. 
But yeah, other than that one little mistake, uh, been a pretty smooth run. So we're gonna go ahead and explosive shot, pop absolutely everything here, and go to town. So just a casual 45k DPS. Make sure our binding shot's down. And cleaving away. Put down our other trap as well. Just in case people need to kite. Oh, that's right. I don't think the non elites spawn the uh, spike pulls. So we're good. Anytime you have your volley that's coming off cooldown, you want to pull up a bunch of uh, focus just so that you can kind of go to town on your aim shots. Someone, what? Not sure what he's saying. Let's hit him with a question mark. We don't know what he's talking about. Oh. <laughs> okay, again, drop a binding shot where the shades are going to spawn so nobody has to worry about them. And I like following up the binding shot with a uh, tar shot. I was going to say tar shot, but. <laughs> to deal with here. So, this is where I'm going to go ahead and pop. I'm going to move out of the way completely here. Okay, good. I thought I was going to hit the guy. This is where we want to use our utility. I'm going to go ahead and pop my two minutes just to make sure we don't have any issues with this. I got hit once there. My bad. Can a health pot to compensate? Yeah, I think it was a good call to use my two minutes here. I don't want to risk anything so close to the end. We don't have much time left. But considering it's, uh, it's not tyrannical, we should be fine on time. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a couple more pulls. Give the tank a trap. And when these get a little bit lower, we'll drop a binding shot as well. Get a binding shot down. If you're running a long distance, you don't really need to pay attention to the shades. They just die on their own. I have a bad habit of using volley before doing uh, explosive shot. I should get explosive shot on cooldown first. Yeah, looks like we're pretty good on time. Last boss should melt with the last that we have up, or that we will have up for it. Are you gonna do this one? I don't know if this is 5%. Actually, yeah, it should be. Nice. It says care for flyers. I don't know how I avoid them. Maybe I don't volley. Let's move out of that. Kill Stag so I can kite. Oh, Staghorn, okay. Yeah, I normally don't do this pull. So, uh. Yeah. Oh my god. That volcanic would have hurt. <laughs> let's drop our trap. And then again, once these guys are gonna die, let's we'll drop binding. 
I should deal with Perfect. Gifted. But you will learn humility. Just gonna make sure to use a potion in the last boss. And he should die pretty quickly. Can use a defensive here. So I told these guys I'd be the top DPS in the group. I'm not sure if that's the case. We'll find out. You guys are doing some good damage, so I'm happy. I say I'm going to be top DPS, and I normally am top DPS, but I'm very happy when I'm not top DPS, because that means the group's pumping hard. Okay, awesome. Come soon. Oh, this boss should melt. So normally, groups don't actually interrupt that cast because uh, she's not really doing anything. Like she's casting it, but it's all avoidable. So Pick consumption. Even though I just said you normally don't do that, but it's no biggie. Lust is down. When he does mind link, all I have to do is disengage. But she's dying so fast, it doesn't even matter. There it is. I'm oh, not even part of it. Nice. Oops. Well, there you go. Two and a half minutes left on a 16. I didn't think that would hurt too bad, but your existence. Shoulder guards that nobody needs. Nice. Stop. Oh good. GG. Well, that's the run. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Um like the video. Subscribe. Obviously, if you like it, and if you actually like the content, go ahead and do that. If you don't like it, then that's fine. Um, but also comment. I really enjoy when people comment on the videos, ask questions, uh, recommend content, anything. Any kind of dialogue we can have, I, I definitely enjoy that. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.